You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane, and this is just gonna be a quick video. If you haven't seen my other videos on the new update for fall 2015, click the little eye up in the upper right hand corner. I have five other videos so far of how to add patterns and all the other new features being added. Today I'm going to tell you something you need to know if you have a iPad or iPhone in the mobile app. Patterns are not supported. You can't see your projects if you've saved them with a pattern. In the mobile app, let's make this to print. We're going to add a pattern. Let's add this one. And you can edit this and everything. If this is the first video you've seen, I have many more that show you how to do all that. Today, I'm just going to talk about saving. So let's save this file. Uh, circle. Okay, I saved the project. Now if I go to try to open this project on my iPad or my iPhone, it won't even show up because it has a pattern in it. If I had other images on it, the entire project still will not show up because there is a pattern involved. So if you want to save this without a pattern, then what I would do is I have this saved. So let's go ahead and go back and click restore and that's going to restore it as that so then I would not hit save you go to file and click save as and we'll call this a blank circle so now this will open on my iPad and I can do what I want now you might be thinking why would you save a circle I I'm just using it for an example. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to insert images and find something that we might want to save. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, let's say I want to make his hat zebra print. I'll change it to print and go down here to zebra. It's a little bit big for the zebra, so let's go to edit, make it smaller. There. So now the snowman has a zebra hat. He's pimping. Okay, so now if I save this, it will not open on the iPad or iPhone. So I can use it on my computer. Oh, it's saved as the blank circle. And let's go back, restore, take it back out. Okay, now I don't want to save. I want to click Save As. But I'm not saving this project. But that's how to do it. If you want to share this project with a friend, all you do is you go up to the website address bar and you copy that and then you paste it. You can only do that after it's saved. So it has a project number at the end. But again, they cannot open it if it has a pattern in it. So this may be a reason to save the project with and without a pattern. If you just do your projects for yourself and you don't use an iPad or an iPhone, then you'll be fine. I just wanted to let everyone know you can't share projects with patterns and you can't open them on your iPhone or iPad as of yet. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Check out all my other links by clicking the upper right hand corner of the video.